It's Vlogmas Day 14. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, what's up, what's good? It's your girl Zayro and I am back with another freaking video. As you guys can tell by the title, this video is my second story time. A story time of when I got fired from Home Depot. During the beginning of Vlogmas, I had went to Home Depot and I told you guys, should I give y'all like my story time of when I got fired from there? And some of you guys agreed and said yes. So boom, shaka like a boom. Here is the story time, okay? Let me just give y'all a quick little throwback. I wanna say when COVID first started, y'all know that was like a good March or whatever. Probably a good February, but it was like a good March because I got kicked out of school in March. Well, not I got kicked out, but the school kicked everybody out. That was like mid-March. Okay, boom. Soon as I came back, I'm like, yo, I'm going to work. I was working at Target, so... Once my mom surprised us with this house, I no longer lived in Brooklyn. So it wasn't as easy to get back and forth from where I live to Brooklyn every day just for work. So I'm telling the target that I worked at, like, yo, can y'all transfer me to the target that's by my house? Like, just transfer me. Long story short, they did not want to transfer me. So I just wound up stop going. Like, mind you, I was only getting like three days a week now. Y'all not even paying me that much for me to keep traveling back and forth. Like, it's chill out so boom got a job at home depot it was like june 1st right i was only working there for about a good month and some change by the time i got fired so at first i was gooch 40 hours a week you know no problem i was getting paid every friday shit was golden like it was it was nice i was a cashier sometimes it did irk me like just literally at a register and then you just dealing with people foolishness but it was calm Okay, so now to get to the story. I was planning to quit anyway because I just felt like it wasn't for me. Like, I already knew. I'm like, bro, I can't I can't do this. Like, I can't deal with this being here. First of all, Home Depot gave me the creeps. Like, it was just weird. Once the store closed down and I'm like, oh, this is, like, it's really a warehouse. Like, you will go missing in here. Like, this is... No, I, I don't want to be here after the store closed. Like, so I was already on some, I'm putting in my like two weeks or whatever, blah, 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 blah. So I knew I was going to quit, but I wanted vacation time to use my days before I quit because I was trying to go on vacation. So I'm like, I've been here for a month and some change. They should approve my days now. Like, let's, let's, let's keep it a stack. Like, come on. I've been working, no problem. Like... I wasn't even calling out, nothing. I put in my notice like, yo, I need this day, this day, this day off, like, cause I'm not gonna be here. You know they denied me? You gonna tell me I can't have those days. I mean, well, I don't know what to tell y'all. It's either y'all give them to me or I'm gonna take the days regardless, like, cause I'm not going to be here, like. So this was around the early 20s of July. Work Sunday, called out Monday and Tuesday, and then I went to work on Wednesday. Go to work on Wednesday. Mind you, it was already getting to the point where they started giving weird hours. Like, I was going to work for four hours, five hours, then, like, coming home. Like, I'm like, bro, mm, mm So now, this Wednesday that I go to work, I was only on a schedule from, like, 6 to 10. So I'm like, 6 to 10. I'm like, next week when I'm in Vegas, the paycheck that I get that Friday is going to be from this week. I'm like, nah, like, I'm about to ask them. Like, yo, y'all need somebody to stay extra. Y'all need somebody to stay later or something. Like... I'm your girl. I came to work at 6 in the morning this day, y'all. Mind you, I'm not a morning person. I don't bangs with the morning. It don't, like, it's just something about the morning that don't sit right with me. Like, I just can't. So I see this lady. I've never seen her before. Like, the whole month of some change I was working here, I've never seen her. So when I seen her, she didn't have, like, no apron or nothing on. Like, she didn't have no walkie, no name tag, no nothing. But she was, like, telling niggas what to do before the store even opened. So I'm like, oh, she must be somebody important. Let's fast forward. So, it's probably like a good 9 o'clock, 8.30 right now. So, the thing is with Home Depot is no matter how long you've been working there, you're always going to have training to do. So, there's a training room. 
I'm at the register. I'm telling the lady that's ahead of the like cashier department or whatever, like, yo, you need extra help today or whatever. Like I can stay later or whatever. Cause my head, I'm like, yo, I need that coin. Like I need all the money I can get. So she's like, yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm like, I'll let you know, no problem, whatever. She's like, but you gotta go to the training room right now. So I'm like, okay, me thinking, I must have some training to do. But I like when I do training cause I, you could just go in the room, get off the floor. And just sit at that computer desk, like just you ain't even really gotta finish the damn training. Cause I really would wave it. I would really be sitting there the whole shift, like on my phone, like. And then somebody come in. Next question, da da da, on the phone. Okay, so you know them big like office desks got like a seat at each end and then mag seats on the side or whatever, blah blah blah. So it was one of those desks in there, no problem. Just like about a good five computers, like set up like library next to each other with the little blocker, boom, 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 all that. So it was this man sitting at like the edge of the table. So when I come in, I'm looking like, oh, like what, what's going on in here? Like ain't nobody in here is one girl sitting at the computer and she got her back facing him. And then he just sitting at the thing, at the table with like folders and stuff. So he tells like the lady that I walked in with, he's like, oh, close the door behind you. So I'm looking like, for what? Like, the hell's going on? So I go in, I walk to the table. So now I'm like, I'm lost now. Like, I'm mad confused. Like, what? Like, what's going on? So he's like, hi, Taylor, how are you? Da, 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 da. So he's sitting there, he's like, oh, this is my name, da, da, da. My name is blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, okay. So at first he's being mad friendly. Like, he's just talking to me. Oh, tell me about yourself. So he's reading off information that he has on a paper. He's like, oh, so like, this is your address. This is your email, your phone number, da, da, da. This is your date of birth. So I'm like, yeah, like, but in my head, I'm like, bro, you know all this information already. Like, y'all thought I was going to apply to work here and give y'all fake info. Like, whatever. So as I'm sitting there, whatever, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, because you're a cashier, right? And I'm like, yeah. You know, at first I'm I'm really just lost on why I was there. So then he started asking me questions about how I bring people up or whatever. If somebody comes to you with a cart full of stuff, what do you do? Or ask them like, do you, would you like a bag or no bag, or whatever. They say no bag. They, and I take everything out their cart, da, 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 I scan it, and as I scan it, put it back inside the cart. And if they wanted a bag, as I scan it, I put it back inside the bag. Boom, no problem. So he picks up like this like cement bottle thing. He's like, oh, so if a customer comes to you and say they have five of these, what do you do? I'm like, I look over it myself to make sure that it's actually five of all the same things. Cause at Home Depot, you could think everything is the same, but bro, you have five different things. They all say the same name, but underneath in the fine print is different things. Like they all different. So I'm like, I will make sure myself that they're all the same before I just ring them up as all being the same. He's like, oh, very smart. You're very smart. Da, da, da. Son was playing me. He was trying me. I'm not even gonna lie. He starts telling me the backstory of Home Depot and who started it and founded it and the two brothers who thought of the Home Depot power. And he's like, with Home Depot, we are different from other franchises because Home Depot employees come first. Other franchise, it's always customers product then employees so he's like we always like to look out for our employees and see like why and what's wrong and how they need our help blase blase blah 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 because that's all it was y'all it was straight buckeyes like straight foolery he spit into my ears so now i'm really on some like okay like what are you like what are you saying so he's trying to tell me something about some um how he's close to my age or whatever, yada, yada, yada. He's about like a good 20, 24 or something like that. Or 20, he said something about in between 22, 24, right? Remember that. As the story goes on, he's telling me what he do and his position at Home Depot. He's like, yeah, because I've been working here for 18 years. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's back up. You've been working where for 18 years? Where? And you telling me you a good 20, in between 22, 24. I look stupid. I must look stupid. I don't know if son tripped on his words or he was being dead ass or he was lying. Either, either three, whatever it is, it did not make sense. So now I'm looking at him like, first he brought up Home Depot cameras. So he like, what people don't realize about Home Depot is that we have one of the best camera systems. We have 4K, HD, LG, all these other full. He like, our cameras go up, down, all around, see behind. Like, 
just just everything so i'm like okay he's like home depot has a no stealing policy even if it comes to employees stealing or customers stealing or employees helping customers steal or whatever so when he's saying that so now i'm awesome all right let, let's let's really just talk about why i'm here so i'm like sir like i'm i'm confused like i know i'm not stealing so why am i here like what what is all of this about he's like remember that our camera systems are so great that when we talk to you guys we don't want to know did you do it we want to know why because we like to be there for our employees i'm like Sir, what does this have to do with me? Like, what do I have to do with any of this? Like, or I'm not stealing from y'all niggas. Like, y'all don't, bro, please. First thing he said to me was, do you remember taking a soda out of the garden when you were working or whatever? So now I'm like, oh yeah. Like the other day I was working in the garden and the refrigerator is right by the register and I took a soda and I drank it and I went back to scanning people up. Like, He's like, okay, I'm glad you were very honest. Thank you for being honest about that. Da, 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 da. Like, so I'm like, wait, all this is about a soda? So I'm like, wait, when I worked at Target, the refrigerators, y'all know the refrigerators that be in all Targets, right by registers or when you're walking through the aisles. In Target, I could do that. Like, I could go take a soda out the refrigerators. Like, so I'm like, I didn't think that it was an issue here. Mind you, Y'all had these refrigerators right by the registers for us, though. Like, they're not even on the customer side of the registers. They're on the employee side of the registers. So, these are not for us. So, he tells us, I'm like, okay, like, my fault. Like, I, I'll go get the, the dollar oh nine or whatever the hell the soda is. So, I'm like, oh, like, I could, I could go get that back. He's like, okay, I'm really glad that you were honest. Son goes in a fold to take out a piece of paper and slides me the paper. So he's like, oh, um, yeah, write on the paper what you just told me, da, 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 your statement of the soda. And I'm like, statement of the soda? Like, what do you state? Bro, what? He gets up, get his phone, and walks out the room. Bro, I'm looking at this paper like, I don't know what he want me to write. So I wrote... Apparently, I am in here for taking a soda a day that I was working at the garden. I extremely apologize. It will never happen again. I did not think that it will lead to this or it was such a big deal. I can definitely give back the $1.09 or whatever the price of the soda it was. And, and I am very sure that it won't happen again. Blah, 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 blah. Like, just summed it up like that. Mind you, that was a good two lines. Probably two lines and then a half of the third line on that paper, right? Son comes back. He sits back in his seat. So I slid him back the paper. He goes, well, that's only a little bit. So I'm like, sir, what did you expect me to write about a soda on the paper? Like, I did not know that we couldn't take the sodas or the sodas wasn't for us or whatever. Or it would be a problem of employees taking the soda or something or like taking something to drink so i apologize for that it won't happen again so what what else you want me to say like he's like no that's really fine that's fine you know it's okay da, da, da. so i'm like oh like that's it like i could go now so he goes no do you remember um ringing somebody up on july 14th so i'm like bro what no like Mind you, it's like a good July the 22nd. I'm like, no. So he's like, how don't you remember? I'm like, sir, I can't even tell you what I ate for dinner like two nights ago. Like, I don't know how you want me to remember a face from last week when you know how many customers I see a day. You know how many people come up to my register a day that I'm ringing out? Like, what do you... How would you expect me to remember one face? He's like, in our file, it said that you rung... You rung somebody up and you voided their items and you still let them walk out the store with it. So I'm like, whoa, no, no, sir. Not me. <laughs> Not me. Couldn't have been me. That wasn't me, sir. You you got me confused. That wasn't me, sir. He said, can you tell me your process that you learned in training of voiding somebody item? Now I'm like, this nigga act like I don't know my job. Like, why is you playing with me? Like, bro, what? This is how I'm talking to him. Like, 
So if a customer tell you that they don't want an item no more, you take the item from them, you void it off the registers and you put it right behind your computer where the customer cannot have access to the item anymore. The item is gone, it's off the receipt and it's out of their possession. Like, that's it. So he's like, oh, very good, very good that you know, like you pay attention to your train and whatever. So now I'm looking at this nigga like, Cause sir, why is you playing with me? Like you, he, but I don't know if he thought I was a dumbass or something. Cause he kept, oh, you're really smart. You're really smart. Yeah, nigga, I don't need you to tell me that. I don't need you to tell me that. After I tell him that, he's still trying to tell me. He's like, oh no, yeah, remember what I said? We're not asking you, did you do it? We want to know why you did it. So I'm like, sir, I don't know what answer you want from me, but I don't recall me doing that. And definitely not on a purpose, like definitely not purposely like and you can't mistakenly void an item like you got to press a couple buttons to void an item so i'm like bro no no this man walks out the room make a phone call come back and sit down he goes we really appreciate how honest you were about the soda we just don't understand why you can't be honest about this so now i'm like you calling me a liar like, what are you talking about? Understand? You can't understand why I'm not being honest about this. I'm telling you that I did not do that. Like, no, can't be me. Like, it couldn't have been me. So now I'm asking him, like, sir, you talk about how y'all cameras are so good, so good, no problem. You have, like, a picture or something, like, something you need to show. He pulls out the folder again. He starts going through the folder like that nigga got mad pages in there. So now I'm looking like, yo, bro. I should rob this nigga for that folder because what is in there? Like, so he pulls out the picture and slides it to me. So I'm looking at the picture. Y'all, the picture is from, I guess, like a camera that was literally right above my head, right? It's the cart full of stuff. The scanner is in this hand and the object that I'm scanning is in this hand. All you see is me looking down and scanning. So the lady who cart it is, she not even right on her cart. Like, she backed up a little. Because you know niggas be on some old six feet. Like, back up. Don't get too close. All of that. No problem. So I'm looking at the picture like, sir, this picture shows me doing my job. Like, that's all it shows. Is and he goes... You see that flower pot right there? Mind you, the flower pot was on the table. It wasn't even at her cart. I'm scanning items that's in her cart. What about the flower pot? So he's like, oh, our system says that you rung up the flower pot and you voided it and she still walked out the store with the flower pot. So I'm like, no, so I don't remember doing that. So I wouldn't void an item and still let the customer walk out the store with it. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, so now he's on some, I really feel like you should just be on it. So I'm like, yo, like I'm telling you, I did not. Then he goes, just let us know like if that's your family member or like you know her. Y'all, mind you, it was a black lady. It was a black old lady with gray curly hair. So now I'm like family member. So I'm like, sir, I don't know her. Like, I don't know that lady. I don't know her at all. He's like, you can just tell her that if that's your family or whatever. Da, da. So at first I start telling him like, bro, no, I don't know her. Like, I don't know nobody out here. Like we just moved out here. Me, mama, love my sister, we just moved out here. I have no friends out here, no family out here. We moved away from everybody. I don't know nobody out here. Like, and he's like, oh, did somebody in Home Depot ask you to help out their family member? If that's the case, then you can let us know. And I'm like, yo, what do I look like? I'm like, yo, you, you think I'm gonna let somebody else be the reason why I jeopardize my job? Like, never caught me lollygagging, laughing, talking to anybody that works at Home Depot. Like, I'm telling you, I'm like, yo, my apron says my name and I still be surprised on how niggas know my name. Because I come, I clock in, I ring these niggas up at the register, clock out and I go home. Like, that's it. At this point, I'm kind of getting frustrated now. So I'm sitting here telling this man, like, yo, I don't know her. He gets up, walk out the room again. So now I'm, I'm like... Like, my blood is starting to boil. Like, it's, it's getting to that point where I'm like, yo, if I wasn't going to lose my job, then I'm about to lose my job. Because I'm about to two-piece this man. Like, he comes back inside the room again. He's like, you really should be honest with us because we know. Just let us know if you know the lady or whatever so we can make this easier, blah, 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 blah. Because Home Depot has a zero tolerance for stealing and we're very big on merchandise and our products, messes up our inventory. 
Bro, going off about a $10, $15 flower pot. I'm like, yo, this man can't be serious. Like, bro, you can't be serious. Now I'm yelling. Now I get, I'm like, yo, for the hundredth time, I don't know this lady. Like, I don't know her. She's not a family. She's not a friend. I'm not letting nobody come in here and jeopardize my job for them. I don't know her. So he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yo, no, are you sure? Like, I just told you, me, my mother, my sister, we just moved out here. I don't know nobody out here. He tried to do the whole, did the employee. I'm like, yo, before he even finished, I'm like, bro, no. Nobody from Home Depot came up to me and asked me, can I help their family member at a register? So don't even say it again. Like, bro, no. This man gets up and walk out again to go make a phone call. Now, I got my orange apron, so I'm sitting there, so I'm like, shaking. Like. He comes back in, but he didn't even come back in by himself. Remember the lady that I seen at six in the morning? He came back in with her. But when she came in, she goes to the computers and sit down. So he come, he sit down. So he start talking about how I messed up and I'm labeled as helping somebody steal and I won't tell the truth about it. Da, da, da. I zoned out. Like, I was not hearing nothing. Like, I didn't hear nothing that man said. I really just shut him out. So he's there talking and talking and talking. And I'm just like, what made me snap out of it was the lady turned around from the computer desk and says, so are you done here or whatever? So now I'm like, I turn back to look at her like, so I'm like, yeah, are we done here? Like, he's like, yeah, pretty much, I think so. So I'm like, oh, so I can, I can leave now and like go back to work? The lady slides the roller chair over. This got straight to the point. Well, Zayla, you're being terminated effective immediately. So I'm like, whoa, whoa. Whoa, back up, <laughs> back up. What, what do you mean? I'm like, wait, over a flower pot? Like, I think it's dead ass over a flower pot? She's like, it's not just a flower pot, it's the principal. This lady right here is going to escort you upstairs. Remember when I said I walked into the room and it was a girl sitting at the freaking computer desk, but she had her back turned. That girl who sat there the whole time, quiet, never turned around. Young lady is going to escort you upstairs. You're going to give her your apron, clock out, whatever, get your bag, give her your lock, blah, 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 blah. 0.5 seconds, my switch went from off to on. I unleash it, yank it, so all the strings come out. So I go take the apron, take it off. Fuck all of y'all, fuck you. Fuck it's like, when I take the apron off, I bowled the apron up and threw it at the man's face. Like, take that. I'm like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And the other, like, all three of them in there, I'm just keep yelling, fuck you, fuck you, over and over and over to me. I'm like, yo, double fuck you, cause you knew I was gonna get fired. Why you would just tell me that from the jump? You over here trying to be nice, smelling my face like I'm some joke. Really, fuck you, go to hell, all of that. So he's like, but it wasn't my job to fire you. I didn't have that decision to make. Da, da, da. I'm like, but you knew the decision she was going to make. So f both of y'all. I'm going to walk out. So he's like, that's very professional of you. So I'm like, I don't give a f you. Kiss my ass. Y'all can all go to hell. Because I didn't steal the flower pot. I didn't help nobody steal no flower pot. And y'all really going to fire me over some flower pot. Yo, going off. Now, I'm tired. I'm calling my mother. Oh, mind you, y'all, I started crying. Like, not even crying of hurt. I'm crying of frustration. I'm like, Mom, they fired me. Screaming at her on the phone. Like, wow, why did they fight you? What happened? Like, what did you talk about? Stop yelling. I'm like, no, they fired me because they think I helped some ladies steal a flower pot. Mom, a flower pot? What am I doing helping some ladies steal a flower pot? What is that going to do for me? I don't need no damn money from that. Da, da, da. So I walk up the stairs, I get to the clock out machine, and I feel <sighs> on my neck, like sis was on my back, y'all. Like she was, she was on me like this, like trying to make sure. So I'm on the phone, so I go, get the f off my back! Why are you on my back? I don't need you on my back. I know what to do. I know how to get my back. I know how to clock out. I know how to leave. I don't need you to be on my back. I don't need you to escort me nowhere. Going off. She 
disappeared. Like, I don't know where the hell she went, but she got off my back. Because, bro, I feel you breathing on me. Like, why are you so close that I can feel you breathing on my back? Like, you know, I leave out. A few minutes go past. I'm walking home. I realized, bro, I had an AirPod in my ear. Don't tell me I left my AirPod. So I'm like, bro, these niggas just took my job. They're not about to take my AirPod too. I walk back. Now, I got the energy now. So now I'm walking back like, you're a big dog. Y'all niggas can't say nothing to me. I don't work here no more. I walk right back in. The security guy's like, excuse me, you can't be here. So I'm like, F you. You can't tell me where I could be. Yo, I don't know how many FUs I done gave out, but everybody and their mother got an FU. Now I go back to the room that we was all sitting in. The man's still sitting there. Mind you, yeah, I could say this now because I feel like he was being beyond really racist. It was some big, fat, white man. And he was sitting there like he was having trouble breathing while he was talking. Talking about, oh, if that's a family member or you know her, you could just say that. You want me to punch you in your face too? You could just say that. How about that? Start moving stuff around. Blah, blah, blah. So I got a phone call. I'm telling them why the man's sitting there. Mind you, I'm doing all of this while I'm trying to move chairs around. I'm moving tables. I'm picking up stuff. Like just rearranging the whole room, right? So I'm here because this big fat white man want to sit here and try to tell me that I helped some lady steal a flower pot and like that's going to do something with me. I'm like, do they not know niggas can come up from Home Depot? Like I can make a house from the ground up. For coming Home Depot. What am I doing with a flower pot? What am I doing? How am I selling a flower pot? If I really want to steal, I would have stole from me fucking registered. Yo, going off on the phone. It's like, you don't work here no more. You can't be in here. Da -da. I'm ignoring the shit out of this man. Not paying him no mind. So now he's like, what are you looking for? Do you need me to help you? Still ignoring him. He asked a good three more times, y'all. Kept asking like, is it, what are you looking for? Like, do you need me to help you look for something? I'm like, I don't need no help from you. He's like, well, you can't be in here. You don't work here. I'm like, and you're absolutely right. I don't work here, so you can't tell me what to do. I don't have to listen to you anymore. I don't work here. Doesn't matter what you say, because I don't work here. You just fired me, so you can't fucking tell me what to do anymore. He was like, I'm going to have to call the security guards, and I'm going to have to get you out of here. The security guard is a dyke. I'll punch it on her face. Like, stop playing with me, like. I don't care about no security guard. Y'all don't even got no real security. Like, please. These niggas ain't holding nobody back. They not running after nobody. They not doing nothing. Like, all they stand there and do is put a highlighted color on your damn receipt. Like, stop playing with me. Like, I don't care about you calling no security. I'll help you. I'll call them for you. I'll go get them and bring them right back in the room and then tell them that you told me that I gotta go and they gonna make me go. Like, Stop playing. He's like, what are you looking for? I'm like, yo, since you're so pressed, I'm looking for my AirPod. It flew out of my air when I threw my apron at your face. Now he's sitting there like, surely that ass did throw her apron at my face. Like, yo, when I mean I pulled that apron up, and I said, hiya, just threw it right at some face. Like, he's like, no, we didn't see no AirPod or whatever. We can call back the lady that took the apron from you or whatever to see if she's seen it or if it's in your apron. So I step out the room. I'm standing in, in front of the room. So she comes, so she's like, oh, you're back? Yeah, I know I just screamed in your face and all of that, I told you to get the fuck off my back, but I can't find my AirPod. She's like, um, your AirPod? I'm like, yeah. So she goes, this one? I said, bro, why are you playing with me? Why would I be looking for an AirPod that's in my ear? Like, I'm like, no, this one, and the ear that's missing. Like, you really trying to play with me? She go into the room with the guy. They fake looking for the AirPod or whatever. And to this day, I'm so mad that I didn't go back in there and look for my own damn AirPod. Because I know I would have found my shit. They wasn't even really looking, looking. Like, there was some, well, we can't find it. Then he's like, I don't remember you having an AirPod in your ear when I was talking. I'm like, bro, save it. The AirPod was in my ear. I'm facing you. You right here. The AirPod was on this side of my ear. Like, stop playing me. I know it was in my ear. Like, I walk out. And I'm just pissed. Like, so sad. When I mean that was the longest walk home I ever freaking had in my life. So now I get home. My mother gave me a hug. She's like, I'm so sorry. I got in my room. And I cried, y'all. I dead cried. Because I've never been fired before. Yes, y'all. That is the quick.
not quick story, but I tried to sum it up as best as I can because it was a minute ago. It was in July, so a lot of the details I really don't remember, but that was the main part and the main issue of me getting fired. This big old fat white man tried to tell me that I knew the beautiful older black lady and I let her walk out the store with a flower pot. That was today's vlog. It was just a story time. So, Vlogmas Day 14 has come to an end. I hope you guys are ready for Day 15 because I am. I want you guys to like, comment, share, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It's the girl Zayra, and I'm out later.